please rise for the Pledge to the Flag. Good morning, Cedarcrest. It's Thursday, April 20th. I'm Jack Marika. And I'm Sam Gerhardt. Coming up, we have school and class news. <laughs> class news, freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, join representatives from the Army, Navy, Marines, and Coast Guard Academy next Wednesday in the LGI. This event is open to anyone, not just those interested in military service. Ask questions about a variety of benefits the military can offer. If you're taking a college in the high school class next year, your hack paperwork is due immediately. If you do not turn in the forms, you will not be scheduled for placement testing. See your counselor immediately if you have any questions. Seniors interested in the medical field, uh, but who aren't quite sure about attending college. Fava and Maria Eye Associates are looking for someone to help long-term, uh, a full-time employee who, are computer, who is computer savvy, has a good work ethic, and loves to work with the public. They offer competitive salary and benefits to the right candidate. Check out further details on the jobs available board in the 100 Hall Skylight area or see Mrs. Follett in the College and Career Center in the library. In club news, the GSA Club is hosting Day of Silence tomorrow to spread the message that all students should be valued and treated with respect, regardless of their sexual orientation, gender identity, or gender expression. Correspondent Jack Marika talked to GSA President Rose Peterschmidt about the event. Uh, well, I'm the president of the Gay Straight Alliance, and um, it's been a, kind of a year-long project we've been working for, uh, we've been working towards, and um, it's just a really supportive way. Um, it's a, it's a good way to show support for this community, which makes up the, the Gay Straight Alliance for the most part. Um, yeah, so it's good for the people in the club, and it's just good um, school-wide, because it's just so solidarity with our students. Um, I hope they realize that there are multiple points of views, um, and that maybe they don't understand what some of our students are going through, um, that maybe they can't feel they can be their most true self. And by doing this, we can show our support for those students. Yes, this is, this is really important to me. Um, I, a lot of my friends are part of this community, and I've uh, seen a lot of people go through struggles like these. And it's become very personal for me. And I, um, as a part of trying to educate myself and further, um, I don't know, involve myself in the social justice element of the LGBT crusade sort of a thing going on, um, it's just become a part of, you know, who I aim to be, a person get, who gets involved in something that I care about, and this is something I care about. If you would like to participate, you can pick up an ally card in Miss Ragnar's room 206. Students, are you interested in becoming a big star next year? Pick up an application now in Mrs. Eisenberg or Mrs. Christman's room. All students enrolled in an AP course this year must complete AP pre-administration. Today is the final day. If you have not yet completed AP pre-administration, please report to the LGI at the start of first period. Again, this is for current AP students and is man mandatory. Please rise for the pledge to the flag. Tomorrow is the last day to order post-prom tickets. If you don't have one, you will you won't be able to go. There will be awesome prizes like a lot of cash, an iPod, and many other cool things. You can buy tickets before school in the front of the main office. They cost $8. A lot of people may not know that you don't have to go to prom to go to post-prom. Falcon Threads will be open today during period 6. Browse the clothes, jewelry, bags, and shoes and pick up some great new fashion just for a dollar or two. All proceeds benefit families in the community. The deadline to order your yearbook is approaching quickly. You have until the end of April to order one by visiting www.yearbookforever.com. The yearbook has a new feature where you can use a barcode scanner to watch videos on your phone. Tomorrow is the last day to bring in your empty cans for the C Club Can Collection Hi, Competition in celebration that. of Earth Day. The homeroom who brings in the most cans will get a donut breakfast. Club member Melanie Lusher is in the studio with information about the contest. 
Hi, please remember that tomorrow is the last day to bring in your cans. We encourage everybody to wear green tomorrow to, so, to show some Earth Day support. Today's pun is what kind of plant grows in your hand? A palm tree. Thanks, Melanie. And now we send it over to Kyle with your weather. Kyle, is there going to be pollen this weekend? Um, the pollen count will remain high today and will fluctuate throughout the rest of the week. Today we're going to have a high 70 and a low 42 with some showers throughout the day giving way to cloudy skies in the afternoon. Tomorrow we're going to have a high of 56 and a low of, or a high of 65 and a low of 56 with cloudy skies throughout the day with lower pollen count. On what <laughs> on Sunday we're going to have a high of 6 we have the wrong graphic. Okay. Saturday, we're going to have a high of 65 and a low of 42 with some cloudy skies throughout the day. And on Sunday, we're going to wrap up with a high of 65 and a low of 45 with some rain throughout the day. That's all for your weekend outlook. Back to the desk. In sports news, okay. the boys' tennis team finished their LL League season with, with a record of 9-1, to the win at Lebanon. Scoring points against Lebanon were seniors Tim Chang, Ryan Knapp, Mike Rubenstein, Noah Stover, and Chris Torres. Sophomores, Ma Max Maceros, and freshman Toll, and Ethan Hauer. On a side note, Jack Marika and Dylan Toll both went through this season undefeated in league play. The boys' tennis team will host their first ever Falcon Invita Invitational Tournament Friday afternoon. Get out there and support the team. Boys across topped Garden Spot 14-6 last night. Hunter Craig scored five goals with an assist. John Lux netted four. Mitchell Tice scored twice with six assists. May, Ray Moore scored twice, and Noah Lozer added a goal. Keeper TJ Moore made seven saves. That's all for your sports report. On Tuesday, from all the district buildings took to the track to conquer cancer. Correspondent Gavin Binner was there with his camera and his drone. 120 teachers, faculty, and family gathered at the fourth annual Courage Cancer Relay Races on Tuesday at the Earl Bolt Stadium to raise money for cancer research. The event included 10 relay races with the three teams competing against each other. Relay races consisted of eating food like tasty cakes, running, jumping, and even crab walking. In the end of the night, the green team pulled out with first, the yellow team pulled out with second, and the blue team ended in third place. We sat down with Mr. Reger to learn more on why he started this event. Uh, four years ago, uh, quite a few friends of mine and family members had uh, been diagnosed with cancer or were living with cancer or died from cancer. And uh, it was a thing just that I wanted to do to show them all the ones that I, you know, friends of mine that they meant a lot to us uh, and to me. And this was my way of giving back and raising some money to help find a cure. Mr. Rager said the event will raise over $2,500 for cancer research once the leftover foods are sold. That's all for your announcements today. I'm Jack Marika. And I'm Sam Gerhardt. Make it a great day, Cedar Crest.